Hey guys, so it's time to do a boot test here with the iPhones on the iOS 8.3 uh, which is the first beta here and I do have it here on the 4S, the 5, 5S, the 6 and the 6 Plus. I don't have the 5C here because it has the same internals as the iPhone 5 so it's a little bit boring. It's probably going to boot up the same time. But uh, yeah, let's do this. So I have the devices right here. It's not that... Uh, complicated but uh, let's just close bam, 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 bam. and I'm gonna hit the off switch let's see here bam, bam. I like with the older iPhones how they all have the power button at the top. It's easy to do this video then. Hmm. I'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds here as well to make sure that everyone is uh, shut down completely because sometimes you can kind of see that little spinning thing uh, that it's still turned on or that it's still turning off. Okay, so it seems to be ready to go now. So let's uh, do this video right now. Let's see here. So are you ready? Of course you are. Let's go. Okay. Of course, the uh, three newer iPhones is um, the snappiest. Six plus is first here. Bam, bam. You says that they should be turned on this one first and even though I'm pretty sure these have the same internals. Let's see here what kind of lag delay we do get on the 4S. As you can see here, it's still kind of slow. Definitely, wow. It started to get really, really slow here with the newest um, iOS updates here on uh, the uh, iPhone 4S. Because this device is getting a little bit older. But yeah, quickly a video there. You can definitely compare against your iPhone or whatever. Uh, you just wanted to do that. And I did also another benchmark video if you want to check it out. So uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Peace.